Hey, what's going on guys? Wef here bringing you another Iron Man progress video. As you saw in the last episode, we got 99 Slayer and we just hit 200 KC at Calfight Queen. So I'm going to stop there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to stop there. This episode we're going to be doing a lot of Slayer and um, I mean, that sounds kind of weird because I'm 99, but now that we have the Slayer perk, we can actually uh, get uh, a lot more boss tasks and you know, kind of redo the tasks that we really want to do, so that'll be awesome. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try to do a ton of PVM and get some gear gains, I guess. Okay, cool, so we just got 129 Abyssal Demons, which means I'm gonna go ahead and do some Sire. I actually, uh, do not currently have a bludgeon. I don't even think I have any bludgeon pieces, so, um, we are going to, I guess, work on getting that done. And, uh, it has some good drops that are actually pretty useful, so... Oh my god, look at that lizard man task. Uh, the best part is I can use the, uh, like, private cave, so I can kind of just chill and not have to worry about getting crashed and don't have to waste any cannonballs. So that is awesome. Um, we are approaching the five, actually we're past 5,000 kills again, uh, since I dropped my Dragon Warhammer originally. So, yeah, we, uh, are definitely due for a Dragon Warhammer, so if we could get at this task, that would be amazing. Okay, so finished that task, and unfortunately nothing got cave cracking. And uh, unfortunately, my reward for finishing that task was I am completely out of Zalra skills. So basically, I'm just gonna have to go do some Zalra for probably just do it for a couple days and just try to camp out like 50,000 skills. I'm very like unlucky on Zalra drops, so hopefully they can like catch up to me now, and I'll just get a ton of drops and be able to get out of there really quick. Alright, so we got a very, very important level coming in here. 90 herb lore, that means super combat potions without boosting, and uh, the strongest overloads in raids. Now, I'd, I had some random like herbs lying around, I noticed that I could get to 90 pretty easily, so I just decided to do that, and I also didn't notice that my anti-venoms are not like the plus versions, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and boost up with botanical pie and make like all of these into... Uh, Anti-Venom plus pluses or whatever, so that I can do Zolra with Void, and it'll be a lot faster, so that'll be good. Um, I don't have any, though. Damn. Okay, why do you make these so slow? See, I figured I would only need, like, two pies to do all this, but I've already gone through one and a half. And I've only made, like, probably 50 or 60, so I might have to get, like, five pies to do all these. I don't... Why is this... There's, like, a three-tick action, and all the other ones are, like one or two ticks. That's really weird. Okay, so uh, before I jump into the Zolra grind again, I went ahead and did uh, the Mage Arena 2 quest. I think all you have to do is just give him the Ceridome Cape and imbue it. And there we go. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, that means in order to imbue it again, uh, or another thing, you have to kill the things again, but I highly doubt I'm going to ever use this, so this is a pretty good upgrade. I think it gives Mage damage, and also I think it's like plus 5 extra magic. Actually, I'll just go ahead and compare, just because, you know, you gotta always do the comparing thing. Yeah, so plus 5 more, plus 5 more defense, a little bit more regular defense, and then plus 2% magic damage, so this will be great for uh, Zora, and it also just looks dope, let's be honest. Oh shit, I totally missed it. Uh, 1800 Zora KC we just hit right there, and... Um, yeah, my uh, blowpipe is at about 85%. No unique drops, so unfortunately no extra boost of scales. I think I'm going to stay here until I get to about 100% uh, in my blowpipe and then maybe like 20,000 extra scales or something, and then I'll go back to Slayer for a while and, you know, just kind of repeat. But hopefully we can just get a drop, because if we get a drop, I can kind of just leave it whenever I want, so. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, uh, pfft, pfft. Whew. Whew. That feels good, guys. That was my first freak out in a very long time. I don't, I don't know if I have ever, like, freaked out like that, but I was not expecting it. I was just chilling, watching a video. 4,800 shaman kills. Um, I did about a thousand extra. We're at 20,000 kills in total. Uh, I think I did about 5,000 regular lizard men. So, just call it like 15,000 kills for two Dragon Warhammers, essentially. But uh, this one was actually a little bit above the drop rate, something like that. It's basically like about six or 7,000 kills for this one, particularly. So, not bad. It, you guys don't know how relieved I am, because, like, I can just do everything in the game that I want to do now. So, uh, I was just thinking about how 
you know, I just kind of, once I get this hammer, I can kind of just start doing kind of all the fun content in the game, because right now I'm kind of restricted in what I can do, but now I can start doing Bandos, I can start doing uh, Vork, I can start, I can finish all my quests, I can, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I can do now. As soon as I get a BGS, I can start doing Corp, I mean, there's a lot of stuff, I can do raids, this is going to be great, so uh, expect the content to get significantly better now, thank god. You can probably hear it in my voice, I'm just... Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so I went ahead and did Dragon Slayer 2. I've never actually, like, solidly camped Vorkath or anything, so I'm gonna have to kind of learn how to do it, and it's gonna be kind of hard with, I guess, I mean, I'm gonna have to do the blowpiping method without super anti-fires. I'm not really sure how much of a difference it actually makes, um, but yeah, so I guess I'm just gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to learn, I guess. Oh, I didn't realize it was that quick. Eh, Dragon, Dragon Slayer 2. Five quest points. I'll probably get my quest cape back pretty soon since that was pretty much the only difficult quest. I think all these other ones are just kind of weird, like, filler quests that are pretty easy. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably get that back before I go back to Zolra. I'm going to try to get the, uh, like, the accumulator upgrade first. And then I'll try to work on getting uh, back to Zolra. Just, I'd like to get the alerter before I go back to Zolra because, I mean, it's a bit of an upgrade. So I never really checked out the mist skill, but this is actually pretty nice. I needed some blue dragon scales for my anti-fires, and uh, I always thought that Vorkath dropped them, but I guess either he used to or he just never did, and I'm stupid, but uh, this is the method that I'm doing for getting this. It's apparently the fastest way. You just go into the mist guild, and I'm just actually teleporting back to my house and sending my butler to put these back, or to send these to the bank every time. Uh, so yeah. That's pretty cool, and then I just teleport back to the Mist Guild, so this is a lot faster, and uh, yeah, I gotta say, Dragon Slayer 2 unlocks a lot of really cool benefits, so I'm glad I got it done. Okay, I just quickly decided to go get the points to imbue my Series Ring before I do my uh, Kraken test really quick. It's, it, you guys are probably aware, it's been extremely laggy this week, so basically I can't really do anything like Zora or... I was trying to do some Volkath, but I, I just couldn't because I just kept lagging and I'm also horrible at the boss So it's like it's just a double whammy of garbage. So basically, I'm just gonna do some Kraken, I guess and hope that I don't DC so hard that I die There I got this elite from uh, Kraken, so let's see what it is eh, Magic seed, I'll take it and some planks, but whatever Wow guys, 800 tasks in a row, that's 375 point bonus, which is amazing because I'm always low on points because I'm lazy and I skip tasks constantly. Uh, there's a couple things that I think I am going to buy with these points though. I am going to extend rune dragons, I just got a rune dragon task actually. Uh, I was afraid I couldn't do it with the gear, but ranging them I was actually pretty accurate so I could get like 5 kill trips. So uh, I'm definitely going to want to do that just for the dragon crossbow in the future and some other stuff. Um, and they're just overall a good monster to kill. Adamant Dragons, not so much, so I'm not really going to bother with, and I really don't think there's anything else that I want to get here, so... Uh, yeah, let's just grab another task. 801. And Fossil Island Wyverns, can't pass those up, because, you know, could get a unique freaking whatever the Fossil Island Wyvern Visage thing is called. What in the world kind of clue is this? That's a lot of alcohols, holy shit. Well guys, I can't seem to get myself a Black Demon task, and I actually have 90 crafting banked right now, uh, just in battle stabs and flax and stuff like that, so. Um, I actually kind of want to start passively working on getting my other Zenites. I still need two more, so I feel like if I do get a second, or get another Zenite, then that'll kind of motivate me to do my crafting, so I can make my, uh, whatever you call it, my bracelet thing, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and work on that, and, uh, so passively you might see some random like demonic gorilla clips so don't be scared well first uh unique the list of spring actually i think we probably already have one of these these are really common so yeah it doesn't even appear as orange and also doesn't have a valuable drop thing next to it it's very depressing Okay, so I just got a 40-something rune dragon task, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do some Zami off-task. I really need to get a Varys play skirt, but I'm too lazy. 
Um, so I'm just going to do some off task and see how it goes. I really would like to just get a Zami Spear out of the way because I cannot get a Greater Demon Task or Greater Demon's Task. I don't know why, but uh, I guess I'll see how it goes. If the trips are absolutely atrocious, then I'll just wait. Okay, so off task Sammy, not doing that again. I'm gonna use this dragon sword. This is probably the only opportunity I will ever have to use it. It's actually hitting pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, someone tried PKing me while I was suiciding to his lava dragon, so clearly this the, he just knew this casket was gonna contain an amazing reward. Ooh, dragon square shield ornament kit. That is pretty sick. Uh, I actually don't have a dragon square shield, but that has given me the motivation to use one of my many shield left halves and actually go make one. So uh, I'm gonna go make one actually right now and see how it looks. I don't know why I said looks so weird. Oh my, that is a beautiful task. 35 Commander Zillianas, I'm obviously setting that to 35. Um, unfortunately, I did want to get my like Ceridoman Dehyde either bottoms or Zamorak Dehyde bottoms, so. I think I'm actually going to do some wilderness bosses, like the demi bosses in the wilderness with the Ring of Wealth eye. Try to bang out some hard clues, because I do want to get that Odium, like I said. So I think that's probably the best way for me to collect some clues, uh, and hopefully I can get either of those chaps. If not, it's no huge deal, but I'd like to get those before I start, you know, doing some grind. Oh. thought well, that was like third age or something, but, uh... Ooh, Ancient Page 4, we actually need that. Uh, that means just Ancient Page 3 to go to finish that book, which is my final book, actually. But Explorer Backpack, uh, one of my one of my favorite cosmetic items, but it's completely useless. So I found a pretty interesting method for Crazy Archaeologist, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, basically, what I'm doing is I'm using the Grand Seed Pod, uh, seed pod thing to teleport out, and then I teleport to Narda to respec. Sorry, go with the motorcycle. Um... I go to Nardo to respec, or to like get all my stats back, and basically just DDS spec him four times. Get a, like usually by the time it, it as you saw it took uh, by the time you get back he still hasn't spawned, so you're not really wasting any time and you're getting DDS specs off. So uh, you don't have to waste any runes and it is really fast kills. So uh, this is probably gonna be the method that I use for this boss, but hopefully I don't have to be here too long. Speaking of not being here very long, there's the Odium Shard. Uh, I'm just going to stay for the Malediction Shard too, because I'm actually kind of enjoying this boss. It's pretty chill and fun, so um, I'll probably just stay here for a little while and see if I can get the other shard. Plus, it is really fast clues, so that's cool. But anyway, the first, the most easy shard to get. Probably shouldn't have started with the easiest one first, but uh, oh well. Hopefully, hopefully this, the Scorpius Shard is quick. That's all I care about. Also, ignore how stupid I was. You're supposed to pray melee, not mage. Okay, so I know I said I wasn't going to be doing any Scorpia first, because it's the worst boss, but I couldn't sleep, so I kind of just, I'm up at like a perfect time to be doing this. I've done about 100 kills, I think. I think I started around 200. That's the reason I recorded, because it's KC 300. Uh, unfortunately, no drops. Um, I really hate this boss, and I really hate getting PK'd. Luckily, I've only gotten PK'd once in 100 kills-ish, so that's pretty good. Hopefully, we can just get the shard and get out of here, because basically, as soon as I get this shard, I'm pretty much just done with the shield. Oh, okay. Uh, that is the Malediction Shard. Unfortunately, not the one that I wanted. Uh, that is, did kind of catch me off guard, but uh, that's okay. Uh, I guess we will be going for the Malediction Shield at some point. I don't know how the hell this is one mil, because Malediction Shield is kind of, kind of garbage. Bracers, not bad. Uh, I'm kind of taking a break from the wildy bosses because I really, it's kind of peak time right now, so I don't really want to do them, but actually I've, I've realized that there's actually three items that I could take. I could get uh, either either of the dehyde boots, or there's four items. I could either take either of the dehyde boots or either of the chaps for Ceridoman or Zamorak, so uh, yeah, hopefully we get those. Okay, well I realized that getting an Odium Ward just for this task is kind of dumb. Uh, it's not something that I'm planning on particularly grinding right now. I'm still going to be doing Slayer and trying to get my Cerberus tasks and stuff like that before I really grind Slay uh, Sarah, so I'm just going to do it with Scuffed Gear. It's only 35, and I'll have the Slayer on bonus, so that'll be nice. Okay, so 
So this is the godlike gear setup I'm going with. I figured Dragon Squared Shield's probably better than Crystal Shield, because Crystal Shield lowers your range accuracy so much. And, uh... Yeah, if I get really fast kills, I won't be taking much damage anyway, so hopefully this will be okay. I mean, 35, I should be able to do it in two trips, hopefully. We'll finish Saratask, I'm at 469. Unfortunately, nothing there. The kills were pretty atrocious. It actually took me three trips instead of two, which was really bad. It just kind of tells me that I definitely need a gear upgrade before I actually camp it. And unfortunately, no back-to-back, -back, but we did get the Fossil Island Wyverns, which it's... I'm probably going to unextend these, potentially, just so it's a fast task, but... Uh, I'm not too sure. I mean, it's easy bones, and I guess the skeletal visage thing would be decent. Okay, nice. We got uh, 159 black demons. That's one of the big tasks that I was really looking uh, to pick up. So hopefully we can get another Zenite, and that'll kind of give me the motivation to get up to 90 crafting, so I can make the tormented brace for raids. And uh, if we get two, that might that might give me the motivation to want to grind out 93. We'll see. Alright, so I decided to start getting back into raids a little bit. Even though my gear is not the best, it's still good enough, and my clan was doing some raids, so just decided to join, and, um, yeah, let's not talk about it. Oh, I really didn't think I'd get this level making glass, but 89 crafting, uh, we can cut Zenites without a boost, I guess, but uh, one more level until we can actually make our, whoops, one more level before we can actually make ourselves the uh, amulet of, or not that, the, the the, the Tormented Bracelet thing, yeah. Alright, so I've been looking for some big drop or something to actually end off the episode. Pretty sure I'm lagging out. Um, I, I've been looking for something to end off the episode, but uh, nothing's really happened, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get my quest cape back. I've got a couple kind of random, really easy quests that I that they just introduced, so yeah, I'm gonna get that back because I need to make a ton of cosmic runes, so I'm trying to make like 4,000 battle stabs right now because I'm kind of low on money, and uh, I also, that'll get me 90 crafting, so yeah. I'll just get my quest cape out back and end the episode. Alright, so this is my final quest here. Um, I think it's called A Taste of Hope. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's actually a pretty fun quest compared to the other, like, my requests or my requests, whatever. So uh, that will be this quest done, and uh, basically I have my quest cape back. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Obviously we got some pretty amazing accomplishments, particularly the Dragon Warhammer. I mean, that's probably the biggest goal that I have. Um, I'm actually kind of running out of ideas for what to do right now because like I, that's been my goal for so long. So um, yeah, if this cutscene would ever end, you will see quest is complete and we can teleport with our quest cape again which is awesome so now i can start doing the crafting grind for cosmic runes do it the method that i like to use so yeah anyway hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys later peace